pre presented by the finance minister of the previous government uh, on February 28, as is the normal time, but it was interim because there was a new government going to come. And so this was the final budget, but while it's a budget for the whole year 2014-15, but we know that from the day it is presented, only about eight and a half months are left uh, for for earning revenue, spending money. But I believe the budget covers the whole period 2014-15. Uh, this new government had built up a lot of expectations. From that point of view, the there are some disappointments. Where is the growth impulse? How will inflation be controlled? Mr. Narendra Modi, people say, won the elections for bringing down prices. There are people who also say that uh, there are no big, big bang projects. So what's so special about the budget? Now, as far as I can see it, and I do notice whatever, whatever I've heard today, most people, understandably, are partisan. Most people, not all, but most. They are either great supporters of the new government, and so they see only the good things, or they are the opposers of the government, and so they only see the negative things. And that's not difficult, because the, everything can be seen in either way. As far as I'm concerned, the intentions, the objectives in the budget are very good. If I was to be the finance minister, poor country, I hope that's never the case, but if I was the finance minister, what else could I have said in terms of objectives for controlling inflation, for increasing growth rate? You can't expect the inflation rate to go down, consumer price inflation from double digit or even 9 point some percent to 4 percent in one or two years. It will take three or four years, it goes without saying. Uh, even a High school student will not expect that. Similarly, growth rate for last two years was less than 5%. It's never happened for ages. Now, he has estimated for 2014-15 the growth rate at 5.3 to 5.9. I think that's realistic. I would say nearer to 5.3 to 5.5 rather than 5.9, but it's still much better than below 5%. Again, in three years' time, I would want it to be 8%, but not in this year. I would say that I would like to wait. The only, if I may say, it's not negative, but a caution is, I would like to wait till the end of this year, the end of March, say, end of March 2015, another eight and a half months, to see what happens. Where will the inflation rate be at the end of the year? What would have been the GDP growth rate for the country in 2014-15, etc., etc. I think on roads, etc., etc., infrastructure, I think if I've totaled it correctly, he has said he'll spend about 75,000 crores.